Welcome to Violin Adventures number 59. We start right off with a bow rehair. Well, this is a beautiful bow and even has a nice graved metal tip. But this bow needs to have a rehair. So here it goes. We're going to cut the hair off. Take off the frog on the tip. We'll take out the hair. Here's all the parts, loose parts from the bow. And this is a really important part of um, rehairing the bow. It's getting just the right size for the frog so we don't crack the frog or put any strain on the frog. Here's the beginning story of a violin that was scratched. We'll see how it turns out. So we're going to try an experiment. This is a violin that someone had basically borrowed. And when they brought it back, there were just scratches all over the surface of the top. And I've tried rubbing them out and they don't rub out. So what I'm going to do is try putting a one coat of oil varnish over the top and we'll see if that takes care of the problem or not. So I'm going to put a coat on now and it may take a little while to dry and we'll see if it um, goes on and doesn't cause any crackling or any problems. If it does cause problems then I will have to remove this varnish and start over but we're going to start with one coat and see what happens. And we're starting a new harp, so we're cutting out the back pieces. Next, we'll carve a couple candles on special order. By the way, I speed it up. I don't work that fast. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, here's the latest candles. And here's a quick violin concert. So I haven't been able to go outside and play because it's been raining for the last couple days. So I'll try a little song inside, see how it sounds. And this past week, it's hard to stay away from those auctions. It's neat to find good deals. And this time, I got a bunch of weights for repairing instruments. Well, it's fall is coming on and it's time to have some fall food around the house. So here we'll make something in one minute. Well, y'all, it's the end of the week. Let's check outside, see what the weather is. We've got a bright, sunny day with no clouds today at the moment. But the temperature has turned to be a bit colder now. So it feels like fall is on the way. Now we're back in the shop. Here we have the beginnings of the next tarp. So these will be the backboards and here's the neck, which means I need to work a, a pillar on the lathe. 
Here's our work table. We have our beautiful violin in the white. I'm really enjoying playing this violin. In this box are the setup accessories for the violin that had scratches on the top. And here's that violin. So far it's looking pretty good. It'll need to be rubbed down. I can still see some indentions where some of the scratches are, but we'll see if after a rub down that will go away or not. Here's our beautiful re-hair, our beautiful bow with a new re-hair ready to go back into service. And here are all those sad irons. Betach el Hashem, Beko Livecha Vel Binatka, Al Tisha'en, Beko Derakecha, Daehu Vahu, Yeyasher or Techa. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely or lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, know him, and he will straighten your way or your path. Thank you all so much for watching, for your thumbs up and your comments. I really enjoy reading them. Until next time, God bless you. Bye!